Reading from Genesis 17, beginning at verse 1. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless, and I will make my covenant between me and you, and I will make you exceedingly numerous. Then Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. Abraham was 99 when God appeared to him and made a covenant to make his name great and to make him numerous. He was an old, old man, even by our standards. He was old, <laughs> 99. And it occurs to me that it's never too late for God to come to us and say, I want to make a covenant with you. It's never too late for us to respond in awe and wonder and commitment to God and to the God things, to the things that God wants to do with us, through us, and in our world. And I don't know how it's going with you, but sometimes I feel like I'm alone and it's all up to me and I can't hear God and I don't know if I'm included in the covenant. And uh, this text is here to tell us that God is with us all of our lives and that God never gives up on us. And even when we're 99, God is offer offering covenant and promise and commitment and accompaniment that God is our God always whether we hear or not, and whether we think we're alone or not. And sometimes all we need to do is to be still and to rest in the assurance that God is listening, that God is covenanting, that God is promising, that God cares. It's not too late. It's not too late for, it wasn't too late for Abram. It's not too late for me. It's not too late for you. So today, be still and just rest. Rest in the assurance that God is making promises and that God is the God of covenant and that God is present for you. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for your holy word, for its assurance and its comfort and its stories. It's stories that that tell us how you deal with people and give us a hint to how you deal with us. Hold us close this day as we rest in the assurance of your grace and your promise and your covenant and your care and your accompaniment for us. Amen. <laughs>